But first tonight, volunteers say they may have tracked down possible shuttle parts in a remote part of Nevada. Good evening, I'm Christina Brown. And I'm Sean Boyd. This is where the search is happening right now. It's in Panaca, right between Caliente and Pioche. That's, uh, that's where all uh, northeast of Las Vegas, about 125 miles away, close to the Utah border. And that's where dozens were yesterday, searching large areas in the desert. And what they're looking for could turn out to be very important clues for NASA. And now those searchers say they may have found some clues today. 13 Inside Las Vegas reporter Dave Malkoff has been following this story. Dave. Yeah, Sean, we're at the Panaca Fire Department tonight. That is where search and rescue teams are waiting and sleeping overnight, waiting for another day of searching. But what an exciting day it was today. They found some possible shuttle evidence all over a field here. Now, what they found is a metal called Inconel. Let me show you what that is in relationship to the orbiter itself. Now, everyone knows about the famous black tiles on the bottom of here that protects the space shuttle from all that superheated air, that plasma that builds up on re-entry into the atmosphere. But underneath that tiles, underneath on the wing, there's a metal foil, it's called Inconel. It's made of nickel and other metals, and it is highly resistant to heat. That is what some authorities seem that they, that they seem to think that they have found out here tonight and 13 inside Las Vegas was the only crew out there when they made this exciting find. Uh, 901, uh, 104. 9 a.m., the middle of the Nevada desert. Radar confirmed space shuttle debris fell somewhere within 30 miles of this spot. Okay, so we need to go. So we need to go that light, that way direction right yeah, there. Wait. To cover every inch, they recruited local prisoners. And, uh, tell us where you want to be. We'll line the uh, we'll the prisoners out. Ten right. feet apart, they line up. Let's go, slow and easy. Combing the desert step by step. Make sure you maintain your line. Uh, we've got this group and this line headed to the uh, northeast. And northeast is exactly where they lucked out today. Okay, so it looks like we got to find. But yeah, let's take a trot. I got to ID these things. We weren't searching more than 20 minutes before we found the first piece. Quickly came the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Hey guys, we got another piece of the that same stuff. That's exactly what we've been finding before. It looks like foil, but NASA believes it may be much more. The clue that could solve the space shuttle mystery. Material, if it is what, what we think it is, it's known as Inconel. It's a high nickel content steel designed to uh, prevent damage to the airframe of the orbiter. If, if this is turns out to be positively spacecraft from uh, from the orbiter of Columbia, yeah, it would be the, this would be the farthest west. But the only people who know for sure what this is work in a NASA laboratory. If we mark them, photograph them, we go ahead and collect them. If this Inconel does turn out to be part of the Space Shuttle Columbia, then these could be some of the first pieces that broke apart from the Space Shuttle during its re-entry, falling right here in Nevada. These could be some of the clues that would solve the mystery, why we lost seven astronauts. We're live in Panaca tonight. I'm Dave Malkoff, 13, inside Las Vegas. Okay, and uh, NASA thinks there may also be a piece of the shuttle in northern Utah. The search is moving towards St. George, Utah. You see the progress there in orange. Now, teams of men and women started the search late last night just outside of Zion National Park. NASA has even pinpointed the debris may hold some answers. 13 Inside Las Vegas was the only news team there, and uh, when they made that discovery near Panaca, and that's where Dave Malkoff is with uh, the very latest on the search. Dave, good evening. Good evening, Sean, from Panaca, where they are finding more and more evidence, possible evidence, every single day. You mentioned that Inconel. That is actually a insulation that would fit right about here. It's a metal substance that protects the bottom of the shuttle from heat damage. They're also looking for something we learned today called reinforced carbon-carbon. That would fit right about here. That is a very hard substance, almost like a diamond, and it protects the wing. This is what they're trying to find out, is what possibly happened to these wings on the space shuttle. Now, NASA still has to confirm or deny if these pieces of evidence we found out here today are parts of the space shuttle, but today we have an inside look, an exclusive look, at what they are finding. Way up there on the mountain, the search continued today, and so did the finds. Sheriff's Department's been kind enough to loan me their, uh, their computers to email images back to Oakland. Casey Wood is NASA's point person out here. Today, he found much more than metal foil. This is just as they came out of the field. They're, they're kind of um, ceramic switches. Uh, there is, this one does move as though it's some sort of indicator. 
And as I say, it could be off a weather balloon, could be off an old car, I'm not sure. One thing's for sure, these things don't belong in the desert. He's got two discs worth of evidence. FEMA officials in California will take a look at all this stuff. There's some water found on the ground. Then it goes on to a facility in Louisiana. And this is a, a aluminum tape. It's often used for uh, on aircraft, spacecraft. If it is the real deal, he'll send all this stuff to the Kennedy Space Center. Another picture here. That sort of thing is used on, on shuttlecraft, orbiters, but nothing conclusive again. Out in the field, they're getting some help from former NASA engineer from Las Vegas. Just thought I'd come out. I might be able to help them if they found something. I've seen it lots of times. The foil they found could be an insulation called Inconel, located near the wing. It's got what we call frizzy. It's kind of a thermal blanket kind of stuff. The most vital information may lie in a diamond hard surface called carbon carbon. This great part here and this great part here. But the search may never find that. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but it's just going to look like a piece of coal. It's going to be hard to find. <laughs> We have no shortage of black rocks here. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. It's going to be a, it's going to be a nightmare to find. Now, experts look at the pictures, but word from NASA on a positive match or not. It could take till Tuesday. Now, Tuesday is the day that we'll hear from NASA whether or not these parts did, in fact, come from the space shuttle Columbia. I've heard that they've got about 50% of the area um, searched, so they have about a 30 square mile area in total. They have 15 more square miles to go over. That means three more days of searching are ahead of them. We're live in Panaca tonight. I'm Dave Malkoff, 13, inside Las Vegas. In a few minutes, Ross and Kathy. All righty, Nate, we'll see you then. You know that bad weather could get in the way of that Nevada search for shuttle debris. Yeah, in fact, the search uh, is on hold right now. That's because they're expecting that big storm uh, near the search uh, area around Panaca, which is about 160 miles north of Las Vegas. Crews did find a few items over the weekend. 13 Inside Las Vegas reporter Dave Malkoff is at the Panaca Firehouse right now. Dave, do they uh, know what they have yet? Well, Ross, we won't know anything definitely until tomorrow, or at least tomorrow. They will talk to NASA, and they'll get a definite yes or no if this is actual shuttle debris. What they've been finding over the weekend and again today are metal fragments and some things that may look like electronics or avionics. If those metal fragments are actually from the shuttle, it may be something called Inconel. It's a nickel-iron alloy located right about here, part of the thermal protection system that is right behind the carbon-carbon uh, panels, the reinforced carbon-carbon panels that are right here. Just about as hard as a diamond so this is very hard to break off but you've talked about the weather Nate talked about the weather there's weather moving in right here to Panaca possibly even some snow so they got in all the searching they could today and here's an inside look at what they found Friday Saturday and Sunday well this is yeah this is the fourth day We're ready to start moving four days and they've just passed the halfway point let's go boys more than 60 people including these prisoners are sweeping the hills You're just hitting all the hot spots down here aren't you they're finding all sorts of stuff You're just uh, marking it off so that uh, everybody will leave it alone till he gets over here and we can bag it up radar track shuttle debris falling right here so these guys collect anything and everything it looks like it could be a relay or something or, or part of a relay weather is quickly moving in and that could slow the collecting process i just give it to casey and let him determine the, the, the casey's woods from nasa at this point these photos are still unofficially we don't know what they are casey emails digital pictures back to fema and nasa this is just as they came out of the field they're kind of um, ceramic switches. Uh, there is This one does move as though it's some sort of indicator. This evidence pile is mounting. This would be a good example. If you'll notice this fiber, this is similar to what's found on the switches. So those switches are going to be able to either be eliminated or validated fairly quickly. And this is that, the foil tape with uh, insulation fibers of some sort. There's a bonding material in here. Again, it, that sort of thing is used on, on shuttlecraft, orbiters, but nothing conclusive again. Not until NASA gets a good look at this stuff. Not until these guys cover every inch of desert. Let's go! Now they've got about 15 to 10 square miles of area to search still. That's a lot of room out in the desert and the terrain is pretty nasty out there. Lots of sagebrush, lots of hills to cover. Again, we won't hear from NASA on what this stuff is until at least tomorrow. We are live at the Panaca Firehouse. I'm Dave Malkoff, 13, inside Las Vegas. Okay, Dave. Now to Iraq. 